Hello and welcome to a playthrough gamer video. We are at the main menu of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for Xbox 360. As you can see, I've played through 5% of the game already, but since this is a playthrough, I will restart for you guys. So um, it's a lot of fun, and it looks like I'm out of spaces, so I'm gonna have to go back and do my original um, little. That was this is actually my original name, PT Gamer. Now, obviously, I'm playthrough because YouTube allows you to change your name. So I was able to do that, but here we go. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And so it begins. Here we go. I am Edward Kenway, obviously on whatever this ship is called. I don't actually know what ship this is yet, because I've played too far in. But as you can see, right off the bat, the visuals are epic. Firing cannons. To fire with your cannons, hold LT and move R to aim. Press RT to shoot. Pretty simple. Alright, let's speed up and see if we can sink some freaking suckers. Whoa, this is a weird angle. Alright, here we go. And. Uh, sunk ya. Oh, I better slow down so I can steer this thing. These are some freaking. Um, crazy waters, you know? Freaking. They're all over the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm going too fast. Crap. Alright, let's see if I can get one more down. Boom. I really like um, the improvements they made to ship combat. They definitely did a fantastic job. Um, you know, you can aim the where the cannons are actually gonna hit. Oh god! Okay, so that's how you that's how you brace for impact. Boom! So you can actually take your aim and shoot it at their sails and ruin their masts and get them to stop floating. That way, you can actually go up on them and board the ship and fight like pirates fight. Which I haven't actually done yet, but I'm obviously I'm freaking excited to do it. So let's sink this man of war or whatever this is. Ooh, look at that! Some major hull damage, Captain. Oh God! I should have braced. Oops. Brace for fire! Brace for fire! Brace for fire! All right, they're not firing. They're retarded. Cause it's the beginning of the game. Oh, now they're firing. I don't really know. Oh, okay. How do I just RT or what? What do you do? Crap. It's not telling me what to do. Oh, there we go. That works. Oh, so you can just tap RT and get them to fire immediately. Just kind of right on the ship. Okay, that's good to know. For later on. Ooh, not good. Ooh, dead. Oh, I am an assassin. And I couldn't find him. <laughs> is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Are 
he's lucky he woke up. That would have been bad. <laughs> Alright, looks like our next destination is between these two blown up, destroyed, fiery ships. Reach the shore. I shall do so. Gosh, look at that. I bet this looks fantastic on the next gen consoles. Which I, speaking of, you know, next gen consoles or whatever, I will actually be doing let's plays with the next gen consoles. Not like day one or anything because, you know, I'm not, I'm not really a successful let's player and I'm pretty young so I don't have a whole ton, a crap ton of money. But this channel will have next gen console let's plays. Um, you know, Christmas time around there, most likely, because <laughs> I am planning to get a PlayStation 4, so if you are looking forward to the PlayStation 4 and you want to see some Let's Play specifically on PlayStation 4, this channel will be exclusive to that console, most likely, so it's going to be What's a good time. Good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Esquilos. That reminds me of Jack Sparrow so much, even though it's... Keep talking. Probably not. It's humorous, I guess. Gosh, look at the water. Such a beautiful you shade. Gold on you now, do you? Of aquamarine blue. Oh, crap. Calm your tits, man. Pulling your gun out on me. What you doing? Bloody fucking pirates. Oh, that's uncalled for. That's pretty uncalled for, dude. I think I'm gonna have to chase after you and kill you. <laughs> I'm on to you, Snakesby. All right, let's go get this jackass. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. I don't think. There was ever a chance of there being a good start there, Edward, but I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Probably not, considering there's water everywhere, but as you can see, the beautiful free running system of parkouring around the world has returned from Assassin's Creed 3. And uh, it's pretty obvious that this game is a sequel to Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I immediately didn't like that because Assassin's Creed 3 was fantastic, but it didn't really feel that much like an Assassin's Creed game. I don't know. I, I loved it. It was a fantastic game. But it seemed to kind of lose that. And this, some people think that this went even farther and lost it even more. And it could be true, but I don't know. I still think that it's a really good Assassin's Creed game so far anyway. Yeah. It's really interesting the um, the direction that they went with it. Uh, I I have to give them a large amount of credit for you know taking that risk. I think that um, they they did a really nice job with this game. It looks great. It plays great. It feels like an Assassin's game. So I guess that's all they really need, right? Assassin's Creed 3 did feel like an Assassin's game, but it felt let go from the natural kind of these games kind of have like a serious tone but then they also have this wonderful uh, lighter tone as well like you know with Ezio being kind of funny whoa that was almost bad with Ezio being kind of funny and um, with I guess Altair wasn't really all that funny though as he was just kind of more serious but it seemed like Connor was just boring he was just like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna save the day and stuff and Edward's just kinda like yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit more selfish than that so I love the dynamic going on here this game is pretty great so far so and Assassin's Creed 3 started out very shakily for me I think starting with Haytham while it might have sounded good to some people hey look I'm playing as Haytham you know that's great but I really what I found when I was playing as Haytham was I just really wanted to get through it as fast as possible and it made the it made that part I barely did any of the side stuff as Haytham like I just went literally straight through the main story with Haytham and then switched to Connor as fast as possible and then when it switched to Connor I loved it ow you bastard shooting me I'm gonna kill you but yeah as soon as I switched to Connor 
the game started, essentially. Because I, I like Hatham, but I don't want to play as him. <laughs> He's just not as interesting as Connor, even though Connor's not really interesting. But he is an assassin, so... And unfortunately, Con uh, Hatham is a Templar, so... Anyway, getting off the subject of Assassin's Creed 3, let's kill this freaking Joker. I love the, du the dual swords in this game, that is so cool. I freaking love that. Mm. Oh man, you didn't even stand a chance, did you boy? Look at that trail of blood. Sorry about that, uh, good sir. Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your Duncan Walpole. <laughs> what kind of name is that? If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I would not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. All right, accessorizing. Nice. Dun dun dun. The hood. The trademark hood. Of the Assassin's Creed universe. And he took it off. That's. <laughs> Why would you put it on in the first place, dude? What the hell? <laughs> All right, what is our next objective? That school will do me just fine. Apparently, synchronization is our next objective. Actually, I was looking on the map, and I think I left something back there. Possibly. Let's check the map. There's treasure, but it looks like it's below. Oh my gosh, look at that view, man. That's awesome. Let's jump down there. Oh yeah. All right, now there's actually treasure back here through this waterfall. So, that should be a good visual treat for you viewers. Oh yeah, that's nice. There's nothing more pirate-like than going for some loot underneath a uh, waterfall. All right, now let's get deep into this restricted area, as usual. The Commodore's gone ahead to Kingston, where the commandeered this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no. All right, what's the best way to do this? They nailed the freaking the way the Caribbean looks. It's so bright and vibrant, way better than the uh, frontier, which is cool, but definitely kind of boring. <laughs> the way he dies was so freaking dramatic looking. He's just like, whew. Uh, let's see. Hopefully he won't catch me if I just jump down right here. Nope. He's such a dumbass that he didn't notice. It's good stuff. Now, without the hidden blades, I can still assassinate him, right? Let's see. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. Pretty common in the Assassin's Creed universe. At least as of late. Whoa, don't climb on the rock. No, no, no. I'm going to get caught. You know, there's a lot of guards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Took him out. To the cleaners. Ooh, hopefully this jerk won't see me. Uh, who would be the best guy to get next? That guy or that guy? Um, looks like it's this guy. What's up, buddy? Good night. Alright, there's that. And uh, actually, I could loot him. Sweet. What have you got for me? He had <laughs> nine pieces of gold. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you for the gold. Gosh, why does this guy have to be so far away? Oh God. Oh God. Come on, man. I'm going to have to go up and just run up and just kill these guys or something. I don't know how I'm going to take uh, care of them. I guess I'm just going to have to straight up fight them. See if I can get this guy. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Oh, yeah. Oi. That was how an assassin would do it. Oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. I got to go get this guy before he shoots me. There we go. Nice. I don't think so, buddy. There's that, and... There's... That. Oh, some s epic slow-mo time there. Alright. We saved the fat boy. God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain. And I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? All right, here we go. Heading for the, uh... Mr. Bonnet's ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Way ahead of you, buddy. Hey, I wonder if the fish move. Like in, uh, cod. <laughs> fish move when you get close to them. It's a revelation in gaming history. Revolution, sorry. Revelation, why did I say that? Revolution. Oh, okay. This is uh, the stylish way to get over to the to the ship's wheel, if you're wondering, do that because it's stylish. How do I how do I do this? Okay, there we go. Take wheel. Oh yeah. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner. Start your engines. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Oh, okay. I'm heading that way. Let's strike to full. Totally heading the wrong way here. ship is too zoomed ah, in, the camera I mean. The I, oh, all I'm seeing is ship. Hopefully that doesn't affect sailing. Let's see if I can slow down so That's I can steer this a little easier. Alright, so controlling the ship feels really, really nice. Um, really it up now, it's, a lot, it's actually better than Assassin's Creed 3. It feels like it would be the same. It looks like, I mean, not feels like it. It looks like it would be the same. I felt like it was going to be very similar to Assassin's Creed, which it is, but, or I mean 3, but it, it is, but um, there is a notable difference. It feels like the ship might be easier to control. You feel like you have more control over it, but it, yet it still is a big lumbering mass as I bump into the sand there. Just a bit. Also, the water graphics look tremendously better. Um, you know, the... They're, this is basically the best water graphics that you can get on um, current generation consoles, basically. I'm sure on the PlayStation it looks basically real. <laughs> so It's not like this doesn't or anything, but I guess there is room for improvement. Ah, damn it. I didn't want to have to slow down there, but it looks like I had to. Yeah, definitely sailing is really nice in this game. It's nice and smooth. Whoa! Freaking huge whale there. Interesting. Full sail! Remember that from Assassin's Creed 3? <laughs> Half sail. No sail. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons! 
your life seems a grand dash my I buttons <laughs> so full of adventure how marvelous I've seen my share of strangeness I All right, and that should end this video off rather nicely. We'll see what happens next time we come around, folks. This has been a Playthrough Gamer video. If you enjoyed it, please stick around for part two. There will be more. Please leave a like, a comment, and if you're feeling super generous, leave a subscription. That would be really helpful, especially in this particular Let's Play. I would like to get some views on this one. So thank you for watching. If you have, I'll see you on the next one.